Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Mini Builder Carousel how-to videos. In this video, we're going to talk about the glitch effect and how to apply it to other components. If you notice this logo, you'll so notice that it glitches every, I think, 10 seconds or 8 seconds. You'll see that glitch. Uh, that glitch is an effect that can be applied to anywhere. So if we go to uh, settings and go to game, you'll notice that this will also uh, glitch out after so much time. You see that's glitching out. So let's go ahead and add that to something else that we want to have a glitch. It's actually very straightforward. So let's go over that process now. Uh, let's go ahead and make this whole scroll carousel glitch. So let's do that because that sounds pretty awesome. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to UMG, uh, main menu. Um, and we'll talk about how this glitch effect actually works. So if you notice on the logo, we have something called retainer box. Now what a retainer box does is actually, uh, it's a container. So anything you put into that uh, widget um, can be applied to a render target. So we create a material to access that render target and then we can post process add effects to that texture and then output it into a new material and then reapply it back into uh, the output of this uh, widget itself. So it's a pretty cool little class to do post processing. Now you're not going to be able to do glows but you can do some opacity mass, you can do some cool little digital effects like glitches and uh, some things like that. So let's get to it. Alright so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our um, carousel and right here. Let's go ahead and right click it and hit wrap with uh, retainer box. All right. So uh, now that what that does is it actually makes everything is below here. All its children have the glitch effect applied to it post process. All right. So let's go ahead and there's a few things we need to set up. Uh, the first thing is we need to set up the effect uh, settings. Um, the default texture parameter is texture. I use the same parameter in the material. We'll open that up in a second. Uh, the easiest way to find the other one is look at the existing one. So we'll go to image game logo and look at the, uh, sorry, retainer box logo and look at the glitch. We'll go there and we'll go ahead and pipe it into our other retainer box here and it'll go right there. And let's go ahead and open that up so we can see what that does exactly. So if we open this up, and uh, open up the parent. Uh, basically, this is where we could actually change. Uh, this uh, material instance changes some of our options we have in the glitch. We can put how much alpha it is, how much offset it is, how much span it is, and uh, the time frequency. So how fast that uh, we see it trickle back and forth. So let's go ahead and um, open up the mass material there. And in, in here you can see how we actually output this uh, texture sample uh, to this screen right here. So basically the render target will dump. This, the icon that we have in here, this UE4, is just a, a dummy texture placeholder for now that you have to have one in. And then whenever uh, UMG uses a retainer box, it will dump everything into this um, texture node here from a render target. So then we can post process it after the fact. So that's uh, where we do the, uh, the glitch effect here. So let's go ahead and close this off. And I will go ahead and Actually, everything's be set to go. So let's go ahead and play and see if it starts glitching out on us. So, we're, whoa, did you see that? Awesome. So the whole thing just glitches out. So that's pretty straightforward on how to get that effect to work. So the other things can be done is uh, make a different instance of it. So we don't actually have to create a material instance. If we wanted to keep all these elements that are uh, glitching in sync, uh, we could just modify the existing one. Uh, but for this example, we'll go ahead and create a new one and apply it just to the carousel. We'll leave the other ones out of sync so that we can have different elements glitching at different times. Uh, and you can also do a kind of a cool offset where maybe a roll down glitch that this uh, this went first, then these went second, then these went third. So you can have like a rolling glitch effect. Uh, that would be kind of cool too. That would be a little more extensive than what we're going to cover. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, duplicating the ex existing ones. We'll go here and we'll go ahead and hit duplicate glitch effect carousel. All right. I'll open it up and um, save it. And then we'll also uh, point it here to the carousel. Boom. Now we have that one. Now we're all set. So uh, a couple of tips to be aware of for UMG. Uh, for some reason, if you maximize this and try to do this work, uh, the, the frame rate doesn't keep up live with the uh, uh, editing like animated uh, parameters uh, what you actually have to do uh, you have to move your mouse around all the time as long as you move your mouse around it'll it'll keep up 
uh, glitching out. Um, but once you stop, uh, it stops doing that. Uh, a workaround is don't maximize the uh, the window for some reason. That's a weird UMG bug or material bug. Actually, it's not UMG. So okay. So now what we want to do is the first thing you notice that this is going to be uh, the time scale. Let's let's bump that up so we can see this a little bit more. So if, right now, point one is uh, ten seconds. Uh, so kind of inverse what you think it is. So I want to do just one second. Click on it, and now what should happen is this should be glitching out uh, all the time. We'll save it. And it should be glitching out every second. And as you can see, uh, you still get this weird bug sometimes that it doesn't actually keep up for, uh, refreshing. Even though the materials work correctly, the preview is not working correctly. So when you get in that kind of state, I just like to go straight to the game. So a way to do that is go ahead and hit play. And we'll go ahead and pull this over out of the way. And we'll pull this over here so we can actually see what's going on and see the window too. So now we have it uh, pulsating every one second on that new setting, so it's easier to see what's going on. Uh, what The first thing I want to do is, uh, let's go ahead and do the scale. You see, if you notice the, the size of the glitches, if I want to go ahead and make that, uh, let's say, let's go crazy, 100, you'll see that it gets really, really tiny. You get like more noise type uh, pixelization. And then, then if we go to uh, point 0.1, you'll notice that we'll get really big blocky information. See, you get really big blocks everywhere. I like to keep that at just at one, so we'll go ahead and keep that the same. Uh, the alpha is how much of the uh, that, that glitch texture comes through. If we keep it at, uh, let's say, let's go to one full, you'll see uh, more of the, the design coming through. I see more of the t textures uh, that I'm using, so it's, uh, it's not blended in as well. So actually going down to like point, point 0.1 is pretty good or lower. So you get more of a blending between the glitch effect. And then the, you also have the, uh, the uh, span. So let's go ahead and change the uh, uh, the uh, span here. Let's go to 0.1. And you see that um, it, the duration uh, spans longer of the glitch. So you see every one second glitching out. So there's that's one setting you can do. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back to what it was. And then the, the offset, um, we can change that to, if we do just a zero, you can see it's pretty, pretty pulsy, boom and off, boom and off, boom and off. So you can uh, mess around with all those uh, settings. I kind of like it here and I kind of like it uh, 0.5. I kind of like that, that's pretty awesome. So we'll leave it there. It's a really cool little glitch effect. Uh, and again, we probably don't want it to happen all the time. Uh, we could actually have, uh, there's actually another setting here. We can do the speed. Only these two variables make a difference on how much uh, you want to go. So you want to go crazy 30 in the X direction. Uh, that's how fast it can go side to side. Um, if we change that back to uh, three, uh, three, I think it was, and then change this to, in fact, if we change it both to zero, they shouldn't move at all. So you see, it's a lot less movement. You just have a little bit of glitching inside, but th that glitch is not moving across the screen. It's not panning. So those are for those are directions. We'll go ahead and pan it in the uh, Y direction five, and you'll see that it starts moving up. It's hard to see on the video, but it is. It's, it's slightly going upwards. If I go 50, you might see it a little bit more. Yeah, you can see that's going a little more crazy. I'll go 50 in this one direction too. And you can see that's just panning across the screen really quickly now. It's not saying it's uh, in, uh, space. So we'll go ahead and change that back to uh, 3 and 5 as uh, default. All right, so there you have it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them below. But that's how you use the uh, glitch effect, and I hope you guys liked it. Please like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.